Are you a self-learner? Do you enjoy teaching yourself things? How does taking the initiative to learn things on your own first show others that you're serious about music? We're going to talk about that on today's episode. So anytime you want to learn something new, where do you typically go these days? Not so much the library. I mean, it's still there, but typically like at home, you want to go straight to Google these days, maybe, or this past 12 months, 12, 18 months, chat GPT or any kind of AI tool that'll give you the answer directly, which, you know, Google can do that now too. Or sometimes you go to your favorite discussion forums like Reddit or a subreddit or a certain website you already know and trust. It really is that easy to start down any path, any new topic, and music is no exception. So whether you're learning an instrument for the very first time, or want to take your instrument knowledge that you've had for years and want to apply it to writing songs, or you're just trying to take your music to the stage or recording studio, there's always going to be a learning curve that requires you to put a little initiative, a little, and be a little more proactive, in learning these things on your own. Now, even if you decide to hire a music business coach or an artist manager at some point, that doesn't mean that they have all the answers. They are there to guide and collaborate with you, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna replace your ability to proactively learn about new things and use your own brain. I mean, chances are, if you're not ready to roll up your own sleeves and do a lot of your own research and digging and only use those coaches or managers to fill in the knowledge gaps that you can't find an answer to, people are going to start to think that you really aren't ready to take the next step on your journey. It is a lot of self-education and self-discipline. So when you do start to find those gaps in your knowledge and you're like, I can't find the answer to this or the answers I'm finding are outdated or something is going on here, now is the time. Only then would you go and ask, say, a coach or a, a mentor or another fellow artist or a business or an artist manager of some sort to help you get the answer and get over that hurdle so you can get back to self-education. I mean, honestly, between YouTube, Google, a million online courses, even our f now free Career Musicians Made Simple community and music industry websites that specialize in music topics from all ends of the spectrum, there are plenty of ways for you to build your knowledge about best practices and standard terms that you should know in order to confidently pursue your music with or without a manager or other help. Remember, once you take the initiative to show how serious you are about music, the people around you will start to take you seriously and have an easier time giving you the support and encouragement you need to succeed in this game. So I hope this video was helpful. If you'd found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or any comments that you'd like to contribute, and I will see you on the next one.